Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. I'm over my flu, boom! I am full of energy. I'm getting ready for my trip to Italy, which is coming up. I'm gonna spend almost a month. How can I do this stuff? I have internet companies. I switch from investment banking and being locked into a desk and clients, clawing to get my next paycheck, money, clients, I own the company. Yeah and I have a life of freedom. You can create anything you want. You can create anything you want. So somebody asked me uh, what might be a tough question. I don't find any questions tough. So they saw a video, and I'm gonna read it right now. It's by somebody else. I actually don't know who this person is. The shocking truth about karma. Why bad people get their way. What happened to doing good? What's good and bad? What's good and bad? Is illness bad? I've heard people say cancer was the biggest gift they ever got. What's bad? We're all human beings. We range from the lowest of the darkest, dense frequency, to the highest. That would be Christ, Buddha, other amazing prophets who've walked this earth and kept telling us that we can achieve anything, but we don't listen because we're down here going, are going to struggle for things? All right, so why do good people don't get things and bad people? The universe doesn't judge. There's no thinking. You can manifest a castle or a button. A request is a request. It's not like, you know, oh, I'm going to build a, a little shack or I'm going to build a castle here. That's physical dense labor. We are not working on that. That's not karma anymore. First of all, I have a video, meditation, Clear your karma, we're, we're done with it now. We're done with it. We've learned, we've learned, we've learned. You can, in this lifetime, clear out all karma. That will include forgiveness, yourself and others, loving yourself, I don't know what that means, you are one person, how can you love yourself? But anyways, having love for everything and everyone and knowing that everything has a purpose and there is no good and bad. So Hitler, was a major manifester, but he was doing it on a lower frequency. He was, he was demonstrating the darkness of the dark. Now people blame Hitler. Guess what? There's no World War II if there aren't people going along with it, right? There's no anything if people, are, there's no drug problem if nobody's taking the drugs. There's no nothing, there's no porn if there's no people putting it out there. People, we gotta work as a team here. So why do good people don't get good things and then bad people do? Well, first of all, let me just say we all have our own individual journey. So when we judge things good and bad, we're not understanding the value in absolutely everything that you do, which sometimes will seem appear bad, but most of the things that come to you are your opportunity to clear out stuff that you haven't dealt with yet, right? Oh, these bad things are happening. Why are these people doing bad things to me? They're not. Nobody does anything to you. How you perceive it and what you do with it is your karma, not theirs. Whatever they do and what are they put off, you don't have to receive it. So this whole scenario that's playing out is not good nor bad. Why do people get certain things? First of all, if you take, if you guys sign up down here, landriaonka.net, inspiration sign up go down in the description five steps to manifest anything and then every week you'll get new tips you'll get uh, discounts to my e-courses all, all the stuff I'm putting out you're gonna get first to know and you'll continue to get my um, manifesting tips and techniques and teachings they're really teachings there's no technique because the bottom line is you are what you believe and think and do that's it there's no judgment in the universe. So when somebody does bad things, they have total confidence that they can do it. And they don't, whether they think it's wrong or not is irrelevant, that's their karma, that's not for us to judge. They have to go through that for whatever reason, that's their growth, that's their evolution. And unless they go through that, they will not learn, right? Babies don't get up and run across the room, they get, they fall down and skin their knees, and we all did it. This is what we're here for. So those people are going through, they can decide to change, change their ways, or not. You're not here to judge that. And who cares what they're doing, right? This world will change when you concentrate on you and what you're doing and thinking and feeling and projecting out. And when you're sitting here, 
judging people, saying that's bad and all that stuff, you're creating your own bad karma. Yeah, not good, right? So you're sitting here going, why are people doing bad things and all this? Oh, please. You're on freaking planet Earth. Get over it, all right? Your focus should be on you and how you're feeling. You're raising your frequency, and you're creating that reality by focusing on it and thinking it's bad. I look at it and say, we are students here, and the more I raise my frequency and the more I spread that out and put that good energy out and allow other people to connect to it and, and share my teachings, then I am making a difference and helping others to make that choice themselves. I'm not imposing anything. I'm showing them how they can change their own lives because we all have our individual journeys except that. So there's no good or bad people. There aren't. He without sin cast the first stone. Won't see me picking up any pebbles. I'll tell you that, right? Because we are human beings. Focus on this. Don't worry about what other people are getting and if they're bad and why. Who cares? Because as long as you're freezing your frequency, you will affect them. Because we are one collective consciousness. We are one energy. I'm going to publish a book called The Three Human Energy Fields. I think you're going to really like it. It's going to make this very clear. And when you hook into that frequency, you are on a completely different level in a completely different reality. You're going to be connecting with other people on that frequency. And then the things that you will experience that are a little bit uncomfortable are your opportunities to continue to up your game. So you think, you know, it's like Eckhart Tolle said, I think it was actually... A Buddhist monk, I think, said this. If you think you're enlightened, spend a week with your parents. <laughs> my parents are gone. Actually, they visit me in my dreams. They're very sweet now. Yeah, they're, they, they're getting their act together. The learning continues on the other side. Nobody goes over there and they become, you know, oh. So, what are you going to do? Quit worrying about other people. Be your best. Be you. Be compassionate. Not judgmental because that is a bad karmic place to go. You're taking yourself down, and the universe gives you exactly what you're thinking and believing. When you judge and you think it's not fair and whatever, those people are doing crap out there. Piece of cake, man, manifesting like that. They're just choosing to do it to things that are destructive. We're here to end that. And this earth is splitting right now. Do you, do you sense it? I feel it. it is amazing. I feel it. My world has shifted in such a huge way this year, huge. Every part of my entire life has changed, including where I live. The people in my life are completely different, and some of the ones that have been in my life have taken center stage, if you notice that, and the other ones are falling off. They aren't bad people, but we're, we're on the different floors of this. It's, my elevator went to a different floor, and they, they're choosing to stay down here and complain and poor me and wah, wah, woe is the world is horrible. and Bless you. But I'm up here on another floor with other people who are changing this world. Change this world with me. This is your mission. Quit worrying about everybody else, but be the light. There is no darkness in, in light. You can't bring darkness in a room with light. You can, be, you can bring light in a room with darkness, right? And light it up. But it doesn't work the other way around. Do not judge it. Everything's an opportunity. Everything. Look at everything that you think is negative. Not that you should be dwelling on any of that. Look at it and ask yourself if it's happening to you, where's my opportunity for positive change? Can I see this differently? Can I send positive energy to that? Can I learn from it? Why is this happening to me? Do I need to work on patience? Do I need to work on forgiveness? It's not about what they're doing to you. It's about you. It's all about you. <laughs> You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. And this is why bad people get stuff and good people don't. Because good people Maybe they just don't think they can do it and manifest it. And they do good things, but maybe they personally really don't love themselves or believe they can have all those things. And so that's really not that important anyways, is it? If you're doing good things, then great. Keep doing them. Keep doing them. I'll tell you what, at the end of the day, that's what, what's going to count. That's what's going to count. So if you're struggling with abundance and stuff, take my e-course. Go to LeAndriaca.com. Take my e-course. People are breaking through all that crap. They're getting checks and jobs and feeling like completely different people. 
I have a discount that's down in the description. Hey, listen, I'm giving you all the tools to change your life. Internet marketing, changing your life. <laughs> Go for it. What are you waiting for? Your whole perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Was this a spiritual butt kick? Probably. Namaste.